New details at this hour in the disappearance of a Stockton teenager nearly 25 years ago. Within the past hour, prosecutors said they think they know where Kristen Smart's body was buried. Good afternoon. I'm John Dabkovich. A father and son are now facing charges in Smart's disappearance. Police arrested Paul Flores at his home in San Pedro yesterday near Los Angeles. He was classmates with Smart at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo back in the mid 90s. Investigators say they believe Flores tried to rape the 19 year old in his dorm room, then killed her. They also fear he may have committed other sexual assaults in the LA area. We do have evidence in this case that leads us to conclude that there very well may be additional victims in the Southern California area. Um, and I don't want to go into the nature of of that, but he was known to frequent uh, bars in the San Pedro area. At this point, we're, we're concerned about sexual assault. Also arrested Flores's father. Investigators accuse 80 year old Ruben Flores of helping his son dispose of Smart's body. They say they think they know where she may have been buried, but they also think her body may have been moved numerous times over the years. Ruben Flores has been charged as an accessory to the crime. Investigators have searched both men's homes on a number of occasions. They say they recently found forensic and physical evidence linking Paul Flores to the crime, but Smart's body is still missing. We have not recovered Kristen. Uh, we will continue to focus on finding her remains regardless of any court action. Um, we know that's an important part uh, uh, or important uh, issue with the family. Both men are scheduled to be arraigned on Thursday. Paul Flores is not eligible for bail.